Hi guys, this is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I am your tarot card reader and we're going to get started on a reading. This is going to be, it's up to spirit reading. It's going to be uh, up to spirit. All right. So I offer this as a personal reading guys and uh, we are devoted to your soul's expansion. Try a divine perspective to your success. We have a card already coming out here. So this is very interesting. I'm going to go with the goddess of the moon energy. There's a situation here that is a feminine energy. It could be this is feminine energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be about a feminine um, gender, but gender doesn't matter. This is all about intuition here. I'm going to get more about the goddess of the moon. Oh, the goddess of the moon is walking away. All right, there's a situation here. Maybe her intuition is saying that her worth is more um, important. There's something that she's going to walk away from at this time. There's a situation involving this. There is some kind of a lack energy, but it was in the reverse. So it's having to do with um, coming out of lack. So this person is taking some kind of... Um, ownership of their own happiness and they are following their feelings with that moon energy um they could have been you know going through cycles um of this they might have observed through their feelings they might have gone through you know certain moon cycles you know what i mean it's been maybe many moons already and you know, something like that. Intuition is also associated with the goddess of the moon. And there could be something that is, you know, telling this, this feminine energy is coming through here. It doesn't necessarily have to. But, you know, it's time to walk away uh, from something here. So this is the situation coming through. Uh, let's find out what the second situation is connected to. <clears throat> Okay, we have another, there's two cards here though. All right. Oh, we have a masculine energy here. The man holding a coin. So this person is like a divine masculine energy. Okay. This is somebody that is providing security and stability this energy is so important for feminine energy to feel safe and to be to be able to thrive in the feminine energy. There needs to be a strong masculine energy to provide some type of security and safety. All right. Somebody that can take some type of action here and leadership as well. Okay, we're going to find out more about this man holding a coin situation. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have an energy of action. So we have another situation about some kind of movement action. This action could be this masculine. This could be an earth sign. Doesn't necessarily have to. Um, there is the, at the bottom, we have contract in reverse. So this is in relation to something that, how do I say? Um, imbalance. There's imbalance with making things right there's imbalance with making things right and it's involving the situation is involving a secure masculine energy here taking some type of action all right we're going to find out more about this um i'm just going to clarify the energies here could you please clarify the goddess of the moon Okay, so if there's an investment here, okay, I do feel like what this is, is this the goddess of the moon, feminine energy is making some kind of investment in herself in some kind of investment in her feelings, her intuition, 
um, her, uh, what she has gathered through these moon cycles, something like that. Um, also, I'm also getting here that this, this person has also made some kind of investments uh, could be connected with the moon as well. Um, due to some kind of unsureness as well. Due to some kind of unsureness with some kind of seeds she might have planted, right? And now there's this energy here of walking away from something. All right? Um, I do feel like this could be connected to this feelings or intuition. Okay, we have here the Hierophant. The Hierophant is an energy of good moral ethics. This is an energy of contracts and commitments. This is an energy of marriage, institutions, some kind of formal rules. This could also be connected to religion um, as well. So <clears throat> in relation to coming out of some kind of lack here with some type of institution, I'm going to call it, where there is some kind of guidelines or something to follow here. There's a situation here, Spirit, Spirit is bringing up about an investment in relation to the moon's energy. Um, but this investment in the moon, the moon, moon is in the dark. So it's like you got to rely on your feelings. You got to rely on your intuition. You got to trust in, in what you are feeling and your intuition because things are dark. So this is like, it's reminding me of this feminine here. Not really sure, you know, um, and really have having to really rely on intuition, really having to rely on the feelings and it's connected to a walking away. So I do feel like this person, it feels like walking away is important because there is some kind of lack here with some kind of um, something strong. This here fit is something strong, okay? We can call it in, uh, institution. We can call it contract commitment, okay? Just take it how it resonates there for your situation. Um, but the second one here, we're going to clarify man holding a coin. Thank you. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords here. Somebody is moving fast, okay? There's a situation here where somebody is moving very fast and abruptly. There's somebody moving very fast and abruptly, maybe communicating. Maybe communicating to this man holding a coin. Um... Or they are charging forward towards something in relation to this man because of this man holding a coin, because of the due to this energy of this movement of this masculine energy here. Um, and we have here the bottom is a passionate new start. This is actually clarifying. I should uh, this is clarifying the contract in reverse. So sorry about that. Um this is a passionate new start here from imbalance here. This one is, I did a boo-boo here. Um, this is following this hierophant in relation to um, lack. So this hierophant can actually be following uh, a spiritual path. It could be about following good moral ethics somebody's spiritual journey spiritual path they're using this energy in relation to lack they're investing in themselves or their feelings or their intuition it's connected to them walking away or somebody walking away from a situation here and i'm going to get a, another card for what this walking away is about Okay, what is this walking away connected to? Thank you. Oh 
my goodness. Yeah, somebody's walking away from a storm warning. <laughs> so there definitely is something here where it's like, okay, this situation is not... <laughs> okay, I'm feeling it. My intuition's telling me this. You know, I need to walk away, all right? There's this storm here. Um, I just feel like a storm is coming on here and I don't want to get into this, all right? I don't want to go into this tornado. I don't want things, you know, to collapse and break down here. I don't want all of these uh, turbulent waters and uh, crazy emotions and unpredictable um, weather, okay? I I'm going to bypass that. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to follow my feelings and intuition here. I'm going to follow my spiritual path, all right? Um, I'm not going into this lackful type of energy. I'm not too sure about this, uh, you know, where I'm going, but I am following my feelings here. I am following my intuition. That's what I'm getting from this here. The second one here, uh, we have a communication. Somebody's moving about a masculine energy here. Um, so it's like somebody has a truth here and they could be moving really quickly in relation to their truth. They're holding fast to this truth and they're just charging ahead really quickly here. Uh, they could be doing some kind of communication as well with this Knight of Swords. Um, but they, they, they are moving very fast. All right. There is some kind of information that they hold on to as it relates to a secure, dependable, masculine taking some type of action. And this, this energy here where they're moving fast, it's, the, it's because they want a new start. It's because they want to have a new start with um, imbalance. Um, imbalance, it, contract in reverse is like, It's also an energy of justice. There is some kind of imbalance with justice or justice hasn't come in. Or justice is overdue or something like that. It's just something that's imbalanced. This is something very big though. And it's like, okay, I've had enough of this. I'm going to move forward right away. They're like, I'm doing this now. Okay, and it's connected to a masculine taking some kind of action here. Okay, so let's find out um, what's going to happen with this energy. Okay, what is going to happen with this goddess of the moon walk away? Storm warning. Mm Wow, look at that. So there's going to be some kind of healing. Some kind of doorway is going to be opening up here by this person following their feelings here, their intuition. Okay, there's something that was holding on. There was a, a holding on to something maybe connected to the past. It was holding them back. Something from the past was holding them back. Um... There's this person has a mask that has been taken off. All right, something about revealing the truth here. Um, seeing some some sort of mask. Um, uh, this person uh, realizes that there was a mask, and now like they're they're held on to something. But in relation to that, they're healing. They're moving forward towards healing here. Okay, let's get a message with this door to personal healing and happiness. Personal healing and happiness. Okay, so something personal here. And they're going towards their courage. Lots of yellow, solar plexus energy. Okay, so this person's moving forward here in courage. And actually, they're going to have courage to do this. And it's for their personal healing and happiness here. 
because it says here nurture all that you love and i do feel like this is an act of self-love for this person we're going to clarify this whoops um we're going to clarify the door to personal healing and happiness <clears throat> even though i don't need to but Ooh, we have a king of cups energy here <clears throat> we have a masculine energy okay clarify the king of cups Ooh, oh my gosh okay we have seven of swords here with the king of cups so there is some kind of deception here There's some kind of deception here relating to There's some kind of deception here with a man or a masculine energy. Maybe they're trying to portray or there's deception, maybe there's something uh How do I say the masculine here, sorry, I'm just trying to pick up the card. The masculine here, the masculine here was not being honest. Um, or maybe you thought that this masculine was in their heart. But you're, there's this energy of deception here. Maybe perhaps now there's some kind of belief here. That this maybe was just deception. And, uh, you know, maybe this King of Cups uh, is not in their heart center. Or And you're going towards having courage with your healing. All right. And you're doing this for yourself. Okay. And this is what's going to be happening, I do feel. I am getting another message here, though. Um, there could be some kind of deception around this King of Cups as well. Um, and so because of this deception that is around this King of Cups energy, um, you may be hoping that this masculine will have the courage um and maybe uh they will have the courage and go towards this all right um but just take it how it resonates there okay uh i do feel like this is the goddess of the moon that is Choosing the path to personal healing and taking the courage to walk away. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here with the the um, the man holding a coin in action. What is going to happen here? All right, look at this. We have. Archangel Metatron, six chakra, and we have the bottom. Ooh, okay. So, in relation to some kind of lack again, we have a lack energy blossoming abundance in reverse. So these are like seeds, not these seeds are not. Um, There's some kind of worry with these seeds or being planted. Um, or maybe these seeds, you know, um, did not grow, something like that. Some kind of loss. Um, and in relation to this, things not working out, things not blossoming, the, the uh, vision of the, the prosperity there's going to be some kind of alignment happening. Some kind of uh, 
some kind of clarity is going to happen. All right. Some somebody's going to get clarity here in the mind in the third eye. Clarify six chakra Archangel Metatron. Okay. Ooh, nine of Pentacles. All right. That's a single and fabulous energy. This is somebody very independent, very strong and self-sufficient and makes their own money, looks after themselves, good health, you know, just really looking after themselves, mind, body, spirit, and abundance as well, material, all of that's looked after. This person's doing all of that. Um, we're going to clarify the nine of pentacles here. Two cards came out. All right. So there's going to be a balancing here happening. Um, it's going to be done in uh, an independent and single energy. Okay. And I'm going to get another card for the Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. Embracing the Feminine. Mm. So somebody is going to be embracing the feminine. <clears throat> and this person is going to get some type of clarity. Um, they're going to receive some type of clarity here. Uh, with embracing the feminine energy here. Um, this is the approach to take. That's the clarity that they're going to receive. And they're going to balance themselves in this independent energy. This person is doing a lot on their own. They're very self-sufficient and independent, and they're going to balance themselves. And when that happens, they're going to get clarity about embracing this feminine. If this is a feminine here, they're going to embrace of their feminine energy. And they are going to attract, like this goddess of the moon here. Um, and this is in relation to things not working out. Okay. Um, another thing too that I'm getting here with this message here that I have to go back to what is going to happen is that there is going to be some kind of deception here with the King of Cups. Or there could be, uh, this could also represent a self-sabotage as well, but there is going to maybe, maybe some kind of deception might come up in some way. I feel like I'm going to get another card for the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. This is another clarity card. Somebody's going to be getting a lot of clarity. All right. We have the Ace of Swords here. Wow. Okay. So, yes, somebody is going to get clarity. Clarity here. Clarity here. Um, they're going to break free. Um, they're going to get clarity. The sword is going to come through. Um, there's going to be clarity about this deception with this masculine energy in their heart center could be a water sign doesn't necessarily have to this emotionally mastered masculine there's going to be clarity in relation to some kind of deception related to this energy and it's going to connect to someone's could be yours could be the other person's healing and happiness and it's going to give them some type of courage here i'm going to clarify this have courage the 
please clarify, have courage. Okay. Ten of Wands is burden. Ten of Wands, clarify. Ten of Wands, please clarify, please. Okay, we have the Empress at the bottom here. So this reading here is connected to, this could be the Divine Feminine, right? Nurturing all that she loves. There could be some kind of outdated old attachment here. Um... Either the Divine Feminine here is going to be investigating here and getting getting some type of clarity here. All right. There's a lot of burden here as well. Okay. Um, something is going to break through for this Feminine Energy. Or this could be the Masculine. But I really am feeling like it's the Divine Feminine that is going to get some type of clarity. And there is going to be some kind of like investigation or new ideas that might be um, downloaded to the divine feminine relating to having courage and to move forward towards our healing and happiness mm -hmm. and then we have that embrace the feminine energy I really do feel like this feminine here what they're showing here is this is the feminine is embracing her divine feminine she's going towards her healing um, and this healing could be her um, being more in her feminine energy um, and just embracing um, who she is as the divine feminine. And through that, I do feel like that is going to be something that is going to attract a divine counterpart for the divine feminine. There is going to be some kind of clarity here coming through for this feminine. I do feel like new ideas are also coming through, all right? And I do feel like this is something that is going to be positive because it's going to help her to continue to have courage with her own journey here. Because I do feel like this feminine wants a new start. Uh, I do feel like this feminine has, um, you know, been through everything already that, you know, um, things did not work out. And um, this feminine here is getting this these messages intuitively within her body, within her feelings. Like uh, she foresees a storm in the situation and she's like, no, I'm not, you know, going towards that storm. I would rather walk away. And it just seems like here something is going to break through for her and it's going to help her towards her happiness and healing. And it's she's going to get more clarity here through Archangel Metatron uh, to embrace uh, more of the feminine energy here. I'm going to clarify that feminine energy. And look, oh no, there's two parts there, sorry. Embrace the feminine, please and thank you. Thank you. She's going to protect this feminine energy. All right. When it comes to any type of reunion. Okay, I'm going to get another clarifier for the seven wands. Clarify seven of wands. Thank 
you. Okay. So progress in defending her in feminine energy. This feminine is going to be really truly embracing this feminine, protecting this feminine energy. Uh, that's what I see here. So it's like that's part of that healing I do feel. Um, this is part of that happiness. This is part of that clarity. And this is part of this new idea that are going to be coming forward here. For her to continue to have courage this is a beautiful reading all right for this feminine here divine feminine energy here that's what i'm getting that's what i'm feeling from this this feels like a more empowered energy on the divine feminine side in this reading here that's what i'm feeling all right so thank you so much i love you guys and take care